Okay, uh, we're going to be looking at uh, applying the line weights. This is allowing us, so when we uh, plot this design, we're able to emphasize a few more of the uh, things that we'd like to do. Um, and to just sort of make the overall design <coughs> more easier to read. Okay, now the reason why we did so and separate these into layers is it allows us to apply the line styles to each of the individual layers. So as you can see the darker blue one here we are going to have in quite a thick line and then the lighter blue we're going to have finer lines to you know make it easier for this to actually read. Um, <coughs> so to apply the styles it is actually done via the layer and when you see line weights in this column here is where we actually change that. Now we know that we've got this one selected. You can see it's the dark blue. So when I select on the line weight, we need to uh, select which one we want. Now, as you can see, it says default. The default line weight, and we'll cancel from that and we'll go back into here and I'll show you how to actually find the default line weight. When you when you select on the desktop here and you go to the options according to this page you go into user preferences and here it says line settings when we look under the line settings it will tell us here that a default line weight is 0.25 if you want to change it across the whole document you can that's quite easily done from here my suggestion is leave it the same because it allows you to uh, keep consistency and 0.25 is not that thick if you go thicker than that, it can be quite um, uh, bold in its appearance. Uh, cancel from that. Cancel because we don't apply any of those settings. It go to la our layer options here. And scroll down now. We know our default's 0.25. I'm going to make it, say, 0.5. A little bit thicker. And apply. Okay. Escape, and when we escape from this, you'll notice that there is no change to the screen. It doesn't actually change it at all. One way you can tell whether it has changed is just click down here on this option here. It says show and hide line weights. If you click it, you'll notice straight away that it will get slightly thicker. I don't like to leave that on because it can be too distracting. So again, if you just want to check it, just turn it off and on. The next one we are going to change are all of these lighter ones here. Okay. Now, you saw me select them last time. You don't have to select them all because it is only applied to the layer. So we're going to go to this layer here and we're going to select 0.25, uh, 35, sorry. It's point, uh, one of a mil bigger than the previous one. And again, if you want to have a look, Select it and you can see some changes in there. Now if you think that's too thick, you can see it there. You can change it. I'm going to leave it as is because I don't think it's it's going to be too thick. Okay. Again, click off so you actually get your overall view. Now, um, if you want to check whether that's actually going to publish properly, another way to do it is go to your print options choose plot and at the moment there are no styles applied what we need to do is choose the page size that we need which sorry printer again I'm going to use the PDF creator uh, I'm going to choose the A3 display center the drawing and again it's fit to page so all you need to do now is preview, see what it looks like. Now because I didn't change the scale, it's just going to fit in the middle there. Okay. Now you can see here when it plots, you can see the lines are slightly thicker, but do you also notice that it's still plotting in color mode? Okay. And in the next lesson we'll actually show you some of the changes to that when we apply the the um, print area. Now,
as you can see I went to publish it I should have done that cancel and that's pretty much it that I'm going to change for this particular drawing anyway don't forget to save and in our next lesson we're going to be looking at uh, pu putting in uh, no applying this to a sheet and putting in the viewport thanks